close your eyes take a deep breath One of the most powerful tools that we use in Kabbalah is the Zohar. Each word in the ancient text within the Zohar, the book, which is the source of the entire wisdom of Kabbalah, has the capability to help each one of us to awaken ourselves in a new level, to awaken our soul in a new level, to strengthen our connection with our inner light, with our true self. So I'm going to read one verse in the ancient language Aramaic, Help us to awaken this vibe, this frequency, to awaken, to open up those channels within ourselves. And as I read it, I want you to, to think about if the energy of this week can help you removing space within yourself removing space between you and others, between you and the world. Where is it in your life that you need this energy? ולא ישתכח, מן דסגיר ופתח, ואי לה הוא דרה. ומכאן ולהלאה, לה יהא דרה כדרה דה. הדרה דייתי מלכה משיחה, ומן דעה יתאר בעלמא. בכתיב, כי כולם ידעו אותי. למקוטנם ועד גודלם. Space can enter between our thoughts and our words. In moments in life when you are clear about what you desire to communicate but when there is space between the mind and the mouth the mouth doesn't find the ability to communicate in a clear way your intentions We want to awaken the energy to give us a new ability to remove the space between our thoughts and our, and our words. Space can enter between your desires and your actions. You want something very much, but you don't find a way to manifest your desires through your actions. I want to awaken that energy, this infusion of light of this week. That can help you to remove that space that can manifest between your desires and your actions.
space can enter between our mind and our heart. The mind might tell you one thing, your heart might tell you something different. I want to awaken this infusion of light, of energy, to help us to remove the space between our mind, our head, and our heart. Space can enter between your past, your present, and your future. When life feels and seems to be fragmented, I want to invite, to bring in this infusion of energy that can help each one of us to realize how everything is one, everything is unified, everything exists in the now of your life. The now of your life can be something that is not being affected by your past. The now of your, of your life can be the moment when you awaken and your ability and your strength and your connection with your true self, with the light of the Creator within you, the divine spark inside of you. giving you the strength to plant a powerful, and positive, and amazing seed for the tomorrow. They are all connected. Space can be created between us and others. Space never brings us closer to who we are. The energy of this week, we want to awaken this infusion of energy. Remove the space between us and others as well. When there is space between us and others, within this space, this is where negativity grows. This is where blame, this is where anger, this is where hatred manifests. And therefore, removing the space closing the space, eliminates any negativity, any form of negativity that was awakened and accumulated within this space. Your soul is divided into three parts. Like your body is divided into many different organs, but they are all connected. They are all aligned with each other. They are all communicating with each other. They all care for each other. Your soul is also its parts. seem to be fragmented, but 
those parts are unified. One part is the lowest aspect, the lower spirit within us, called the nefesh. This is what brings the energy into our actions in life. Our positive actions brings healing to this spiritual level within us. The higher level called the Uach, which is spirit. It's a higher form of energy within you. This form of energy is the part that provides all the light or the energy you need for your words. As we choose to use our words in the positive ways, infuse the energy of our mouth with our spirit and removing space. The third phase called Neshama, which is soul. Our soul is the part that infusing the energy into our mind, into our thoughts. As we strive maintain and to grow positive thoughts in our mind. Positive thoughts in your mind about yourself, about your life, positive thoughts in your mind about others. You allow the energy of your soul to bring in all what your soul is capable of. Through the spiritual work we do, we allow those three aspects to find unity, to become aligned with each other. Take a deep breath in. of your fingers, start to feel back your body, and slowly you can open your eyes.